as you can see I am currently recording it's not step in the mud it is some random day and we got a car or a truck this is a Jeep 70 or a 76 Jeep J10 as you can see it's a hunk of scrap metal right now and probably has little to no value at all but eventually we'll have some value if we get to do stuff with it so this Jeep will start at the front this Jeep as you can see well, uh, the bumper is pretty dumb looking right now because this was a plow truck at some point in time and you can see they have wiring running right here oh you can't see there's the wires right there they have it so you can hook it to a plow and we had this so then like rigged up to the plow okay she's rusted out everywhere but as you can see right here it looks like there's headlights inside there you can put another set of headlights this is because the version the j10 and and this is the first year they did this is the models before had the grill right there and two headlights but they never changed the truck model they just changed it to like more modern looking i guess or they just changed the grill up but they left the same like they used the same body paneling or whatever you call it so if you wanted you could change it there okay so we got rust everywhere it looks like right here this is straight redneck together well this is because um the bed at some point in time was damaged or something and the people that had it before just made their own bed as you can see it was beat on very heavily that, because it was a plow truck again so we got a hole in the frame here we got rust all up in here okay you see we'll get around on our side this is our tire here and our rims they look lovely um we got here we got all sorts of rust we got holes in the uh, back bumper as you can see here all along the back all rusted out with holes this back bumper is bent and we'll come up underneath we have all of this is rusted to crap it is bad 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 we have everything here this side of the frame isn't too bad but it's not great up in here all rusted out as you could expect come around here got rust um more rust 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 it's all beat up everywhere all around fender and yeah this is a big dent here and this something where was it at right here that's right here this is all pinched in it's not quite right something ain't right the jeep badging is not on the front ah, has been i don't know where it went um the wheels are all dumb looking and let's go interior now we'll get up to here we got a dent up here we got all the original windows and it looked like hijackers that's the air suspension underneath if you come back here really quickly you can see the airline is ripped but um right here you could air it up and then there's the air suspension see as you can see it's ripped off so um this is what the bed looks like right now piece of junk 
we got nasty, 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 nasty. Whole hood. It's all bad. This is all rusted. So, come on in here. If I can get this puppy open. There we go. We have our interior. It's not terrible. It's not great either. Seats. A little bit of dry rotting, but they're not terrible. We probably will keep them. We'll move our way over, and we got here. We got the Jeep badging. We got all this. Looks pretty rusted a bit. And then I'll move over to the driver's side. See, it's stick. We got two high. Oh wait, no, that's, we got two high, then we got four low, four high, and neutral. Okay. Then, we got, uh, got this old steering wheel start off. Horn does not work as expected. This is what should be turn signals, but obviously they don't work. We got the oil gauges. There we got, if it'll focus. We got these here, and it has the almost like wood, but it's like plastic woody, plasticky wood. We have, I don't even know what that is, to be honest. But, look at this thing, I don't know how you open this thing, but. What the heck. We have, looks like a mouse's home in here. Bunch of napkins. The, uh, looks like here. We have the original owner's manual. It's in the house, which is crazy. And we have all this, these crap here. Now, we might be able to put a clock there. We saw that you can. And then, it's got the roll-down windows, which they still work, surprisingly. And I bet these things got the lot of locks. Unlocks. It's rusted out. How do you even open it from the inside? I don't even think you can, I don't even know how you open it from the inside to be honest. I honestly have no clue. But you can see the up above, it's nice. Got, it's pretty bad, it's not bad like at all, it's pretty nice. I mean, from what the rest of the truck looks like, it's not in terrible condition. I mean, it's rough, but it's not terrible. Got all that. Got the dash, a bunch of dead bees, flies, and other critters. Holy but Jesus. There's a critter collection up here. Holy. No, I don't know. Jeez, did not even notice that. Okay, we're gonna head over to the other side. I believe this side isn't terrible. The floor is not great though. We have some Rust all around this here top here all around oh see the freaking mirror almost falls off is it latched I think so good enough okay so we'll come around to the other side where you can see it's pretty bad over here. This is probably the worst, the, the, the side that's the worst, okay? So we got all this over here. All this, all this. Friggin' front, it's all fricked up. This is not nice. Yep, all this. That's gonna be fun to fix. So all this and this. Yeah, that'll be the most fun, I can tell. Um, so we open her on up. Interior nice, you know, eh, ish for what it is. That is not fun, but uh, yeah. So one thing is the freaking floor. That's not good. I mean, what's up, guys? That's not very good. The clutch. Oh, nothing. Brakes. And then 
brake release. And then we got all that, yeah. All that jazz and bedazzle. Bedazzle. So, wouldn't be surprised if I found a dead rat or something in there. But it's pretty bad, as you guys can see. I'm gonna go on underneath in the back really quickly before we go under the hood. I'll show you guys around under here. So, just like, you know, rust, rust, rust. I mean, the frame's not in terrible condition, but it's not in good condition, as you can see. Like, yeah. So, now, these fenders are actually in really good shape. There's like no holes through them at all. A little bit rusty, but not terrible. We got all that. It's not great. We got a dent here that comes up. I don't know if you can see it at this angle, but see how that comes up there? And this here. But the lines in the car are nice. Like the, the shape. It's nice. Yeah, the badge is going off of it. Okay, come on. There we go. So, sprayed some like, I don't even know, in here to get loosened up so it opens. This is what the underside of it looks like. Give you guys an overview. Or in the hood. Under the hood. So, originally, it was this like. Not like maroon, but it was like this, uh, it was like brown color, and someone repainted it. Lots of corrosion from the batteries, some leaky stuff. The end, we're gonna engine swap it, so it won't be terrible. <laughs> Got the fan. Oh. Yeah, she's stuck. Got a nice belt there. And like, honestly, like these, they're in good condition. Like, they're not rusted away. So we got down in here. See? And yeah. Oh, I can get this stupid thing to go down. There we go. That's basically an overview of this truck. 76 Jeep J10. I think we're going to put a Cummins diesel in the uh, engine swap it. And this puppy will roll cool. So that should be fun. But yeah, that's basically it.